Okay, so relationships and my view in relationships. Um, you know, I, I'm in uh, various 12-step fellowships and, and I don't think it's a spiritual term, but I really do uh, get it, you know, being in, in food fellowships, you know, with people who are highly um, traumatized, you know, are suicidal with their addictions, you know, how it is easy. You know, I come from addiction background, easy to get, um, they use the word, I thought that's a really nice word, probably a therapy word, trauma bonded to, to people when you're trying to take care of them. You know, because, uh, and I've also had this experience where there are ups and downs are so intense. It's like the drama become, it's easy to become addicted to the drama that they're going through the ups and downs, which are so intense. And um, so, I mean, in, in my situations, uh, taking guidance and, and, and if that happens, uh, someone's just too, you know, is, I'm starting to get attached to someone, uh, you know, for me, the guidance is and the right thing to do is to let them go because once I lose my connection and start get attached and meshed in their in their stuff you know I'm, I'm pretty sure my connection to the divine goes down I'm unuseful I'm not useful to them and they need some they need they need to be sourcing their power from authentic power not you know and so any unhealthy dependency is just not going to be good for both parties um, and um, generally I think um, you know, I think, you know, what therapists say, and also, um, I think, you know, the thing of um, the fellowships um, uh, would be, in general, you know, unconditional love is without attachment, you know, because the attachments or the need to rescue or save actually lowers the level of consciousness. And for anyone who's distressed or an addiction, they really need to be sourcing it from someone who's got a strong connection to the divine. Otherwise, there just won't be enough power. Uh, and uh, I like, you know, what's said in fellowships, you know, some people are not ready to seek the right type of help yet, you know, a sponsor or a therapist or, or whatever. And so sometimes a rock bottom is the kindest thing one can do for them to let them have their experience until they're ready to seek the right help. Uh, but um, yeah, in all my relationships, for me, it's like, if I'm not attached and can be loving without attachment and getting hooked in to drama, I know that um, more miracles happen in those relations. If I do get attached to someone, I know it is, it's, um, it's like the light uh, diminishes in that relationship. Okay, so I'll stop that.